June 19, 1865. This day is marked as a special day in the lives of black people in the United States. Juneteenth, as it's commonly known, is called that when you combine the June and the 19th. According to folklore, the Emancipation Proclamation was signed January 1, 1863, but word didn't reach the state of Texas until June 19, 1865. That's when Union soldiers rode into Galveston, Texas on behalf of the federal government, giving orders to slave owners to release their enslaved Africans from bondage. General Gordon Granger read General Order No. 3 announcing before a large crowd that slavery had ended in the United States. As Granger spoke, many of the black people in the crowd didn't even wait until the end of his speech. They began to disperse and move toward their new life. Some wanted to find their loved ones that had been stolen or taken away. Some just wanted to start their new life somewhere other than a plantation. It was Texas Representative Al Edwards who sponsored the legislation making Juneteenth a state holiday in 1979. Currently, 46 states and the District of Columbia recognize this day as a holiday. DeKalb County leads the state of Georgia in becoming the first to make Juneteenth a paid holiday. This year, NAACP DeKalb will celebrate this momentous occasion at several events in DeKalb County. And we wanted to share what this day means to some of our members. Hello, my name is Yolanda Pearson and I am a member of the NAACP DeKalb. I celebrate June 10th because it signifies the freedom of my great, great, great grandparents, uncles, aunts, cousins, and enslaved blacks within the United States. Hello, my name is Juanesta Phillips. What does Juneteenth mean to me? Juneteenth represents us as a people. It means you, it means me, my children, my grandchildren, and the future. It's a celebration of life. It's a celebration of the survival of our ancestors that met challenges, loss, and still thrive. Just like the Sankofa bird, we learn from our past, we live now, and we hope for a future. I am my ancestors' wildest dreams, and I try to make them proud each and every day. Juneteenth is a celebration of who we are. Hello, this is Lisa Wright, Economic Development Chair for the Cab County NACP, sharing with you why I celebrate Juneteenth. Juneteenth for me reminds me of our strength as a people, our endurance as a people, our joy as a people, and our faith as a people. And as I reflect on their tribulations and triumphs, it helps me know that I too can be victorious in spite of what's thrown my way. So I salute them and I want to re represent them well. My name is Carolyn Rose Avilam and I'm a member of the NAACP DeKalb branch. I celebrate Juneteenth because we're finally setting the record straight. My name is Gil Gard. I'm a member of the DeKalb NAACP. The reason why I celebrate Juneteenth is because of freedom and civil rights come with a price. And that's why it's important that you join the NAACP on this special occasion. Hi, my name is Nadine Ali. I am a member of the NAACP DeKalb branch. I celebrate Juneteenth because of freedom. My name is Rhonda Mangum, and I'm a member of the NAACP DeKalb branch. I celebrate Juneteenth because of freedom and unity. And you could be a member too. Join me at NAACPDeKalb.org. Hello, my name is Cheryl Watson Harris, and I am the proud superintendent of the DeKalb County School District and a member of the DeKalb branch of the NAACP. I celebrate Juneteenth because it is the commemoration of the ending of slavery in the United States.
And I'm so proud to be a part of this national celebration. For me, it is an opportunity to celebrate the emancipation of African Americans in this country, as well as to focus on our empowerment and the excellence that we want to see in all of our communities. Hi, this is Lance Hammonds, first vice president of NAACP DeKalb County branch. And I celebrate Juneteenth because I want my grandkids to know the real history of when we were actually free and the fight it took to get there. Join me, a life member, by going to NAACPDeKalb.org and click membership and become part of the team and help correct history. My name is Tawana and I'm a member of NAACP DeKalb. I celebrate Juneteenth because it's a great opportunity to honor the sacrifices and accomplishments of those that came before me. Greetings and hello. My name is Nakia Hill and I am the Education Chair for the NAACP DeKalb. I celebrate Juneteenth because it's an opportunity for me and my family to acknowledge the advancements that our ancestors have made for us at the same time acknowledging all the work that we have yet to come. Please join me on this special occasion by becoming a member of the NAACP DeKalb. Let's all get emancipated, not just through physicalities, but through our mentality. Juneteenth. Here are five facts you need to know about Juneteenth. The first, there were still enslaved Africans in Delaware, Kentucky, and 12 parishes in Louisiana, and seven counties in Virginia. So the announcement by General Granger didn't actually free the last enslaved population. The 13th Amendment, which was ratified in December of 1865, did outlaw this heinous practice of racial violence and control. Number two, American Arthur W.E. Woodward once stated, the American Negroes are the only people in the history of the world, so far as he knew, that ever became free without any effort of their own. That's untrue. That is part of what W.E.B. Du Bois described as the propaganda of history. We as black people fought and freed ourselves. In fact, President Lincoln even said, without the military help of the black freedmen, the war against the South could not have been won. Let's take it a step further. June 19th is celebrated as Black Independence Day but in fact, it was June 15 when General Nathaniel Banks led five regiments of black soldiers into the south tip of Texas and ran the Confederate governor and his staff into Mexico. By the time Granger arrived, the black people had already started to acknowledge their freedom. So what's the importance of June 19? To me, it's a reminder for us to celebrate the fact that because of our efforts, we freed ourselves and preserved the Union. And as a reminder that we must tell our history if we are ever to know the truth. Here's another important point for us today. Although we have had struggles and resistance, although we can remember the good fight for freedom, we look forward to the day when we not only have a feeling of freedom, but we are truly free. Join NAACP DeKalb in the journey to justice and freedom. Join us for the good fight for real freedom. Join us at naacpdecab.org.